What up, YouTube? What up, UFC fans? Uh, there's a big fight night coming to Bell Center, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. George St. Pierre, hometown, and he'll be facing Carlos Condit for uh, the unified UFC welterweight championship of the world. It's, it, it has all the makings for a great fight. Carlos Condit had just come off a fresh win off Nick Diaz at UFC 143, where... Um, in my opinion, I thought he clearly won the, the fight. At least three rounds he won against Nick Diaz. And he put a striking clinic on him. And he was always in a position where he would strike Nick Diaz and then and then he'd get out of uh, the striking range of Nick Diaz. So uh, he basically gave him a striking lesson. And, and now he's got George St. Pierre to deal with. Uh, George St. Pierre, we haven't seen him in a year. It's coming off that knee injury. That has sidelined him uh, through many UFC events. Uh, in fact, the last UFC event uh, he competed uh, in was Jake Shields at UFC 129. So we were, he, last last UFC was UFC 129 that he was in. Now we're talking about UFC 154 with him and Carlos Condit. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, but you gotta like GSP in this fight like his ace in the hole is always his wrestling he has out wrestled some of the best wrestlers in in the ultimate fighting championship and he's uh he's done tremendous improvements with his striking like like he like he was beating bj penn punch for punch in the striking department in their rematch and he really knows how to make you work especially when he has you on the ground and in your guard he knows that make you work and make you like tire yourself out that's really his key because he's been going the distance in you know his last four fights and he's been winning decisively and like i said his wrestling is really his key to victory because if you can take carlos down then carlos is gonna have a tough time beating gsp unless he pulls the submission like out of nowhere but Carlos, I don't, I don't think he's like, like you know, class jujitsu like, like you know, Hoist Gracie or, or Anderson Silva, or even Nick Diaz. He's in. You see, he didn't even want to go to the ground with Nick Diaz. He kept it on his feet, and uh, that's where he wanted the fight to stay. And I think that's a good game plan for Carlos Condit if he keeps the fight on his feet and tries to outstrike him, because that's really. Uh, his best route of victory. He can't out wrestle George St. Pierre. I don't think he can, you know, go jujitsu with him. He's just gonna have to try and outstrike him and get a knockout. That's his best shot. That's really how you beat St. Pierre. You know, look at what Matt Serra did. He pulled the upset of the year. So that's how I see Carlos Khan winning if he does win. Is he'll he'll win by knockout. And by the way, it's in fucking Montreal. He's not going to win a decision. There's no way Carlos Condit wins a decision against GSP. And I'm not sure if GSP can stop Carlos Condit. It would be tremendous if he could uh, finish the fight. But I see it going the distance. And I see it only going two ways. I think either George St. Pierre wins a decision in his comeback fight. And he moves on to face Anderson Silva. Or he loses by knockout. It's really one or the other. I think Carlos Condit is a very seasoned fighter. He's in his prime. And this guy's already fucking training. So he's taking this very seriously. But I just think GSP is too much for him. He's a class above. And uh, he can match Carlos Condit with his striking. And, if, and once he takes him down, the fight's going to be his. So, uh, you know, unless Carlos Condit pulls a crazy knockout, I see GSP winning a decision. So, it is what it is. Peace out, take care. Look forward to this fight.